I'm curious to see what Phoenix had him that was banned by Harvester. So let me bring them up for us all to see. So that's the invade we saw. Apparently he uh, blocked out the name in the screenshots. Oh. But that's the invade list. Then he has the aggro goblins and an assassin goblins. So scout and then the assassin goblins is what got banned. And this is really bright, so we're abandoning ship. So it's not that he brought multiple invade lists. Harvester chose to face invade. I tried to click the accept. Can I go? Hmm, odd. Where'd you go, Farks Kitty? And he walked away. All right, so now it's Tribunal versus the invade. I think the Tribunal's gonna have a much better shot about it. We're gonna see if Harvester, he did accept it. Let me break the observation, see if we can get the double observation set up. And we'll try to grab it from Harvester side. Ah, that teleports him all the way up here to the top. And he got it, perfect. Also 10 minutes late, but greetings, Pimley. So I said he had a better chance of dealing with Invade, but that's a, that's a rough hand. With nothing that could be necroed back, I guess you're stuck using reverb channeled storm? Just to stop the bleeding? Alright, the edict is nice. Because it clears the gate. I would probably negate one of his uh, invades just to get rid of one power. I think it's that close a game that you need to make sure that's the case. Alright, you've got Ice Storm, but that doesn't leave you alive. Because that guy's at four. Nothing you can pull back with Necro. Nothing you want to pull back with uh, Soul Tear. So you camel and nothing that you're gonna pull matters. Yep, did not ban the invade and Phoenix just used it to 2-0 Harvester. Well, I don't know if it's a 2-0. There could have been a first game if the scout lost. So I will let them report the score. Seth Dove still up in our winner's circle. Who is he versus? He is already 2-0'd Aquaman out of his session. Which is why it shows him up here in the winner circle. Harvester Broda. Broda's versus Radical. In we go. Farkas, when you're not on the cat tree, we don't get a rating system for our games. I bark and burn. This is interesting. I stand ready. We must protect our stronghold. Alright, Radical throwing down Halalu. Getting a relatively convincing early board. Immolating Blast just feels bad because it's only going to hit that recruit. Nope, he got lucky. It hit correctly. The black hand sees all. Your coin or your life. Choose. You're in my sights. All right, Rothgar Forge shenanigans. I mean, Dismantle takes care of it. And then Cast gets rid of that. Wait, he doesn't dismantle Rothgar Forge? Broda. Broda, that's what this card's for. Anasi finds it useful to use her enemy's against oh, My Doesn't matter. My Top deck's lethal. Well done. Well done. Let's refresh the bracket. This appears to be going quicker than before, which is nice. We'll watch see if Broda hops back in game. 
Then other people will, I guess, then will step back and will start watching the other competitors as they're trying to fight their way back up toward the top. All right, so Radical's up against the list again. <laughs> Giggles comes down to oppose. My paws are quicker than your pants. Ghostface channeled storms away the three four. I think a proper response there would have been to play Haunting Spirit. Doing a really good job of protecting the early game health Five pool. They will meet their I and that ward's gonna make Ice Storm a little tricky, so maybe you... Are you looking to Mage's trick that off this turn? The Sower next turn makes it even more awkward. Goes for the bump. Finishes off the spirit. Alright, 5-5 five, five to the face. Sower comes down. Splits lanes to play around an eventual... Uh, Dawn's Wrath. I can remember the name of all the cards. Execute just a turn too late. Azura, give me strength. The rally's not bad. You don't mind getting the extra power. Um, hmm. The Night Mother will guide us. So, rally face, Altmer, into Sharpshooter. Doesn't choose to put down Sharpshooter. Saves it for Bigger Drain. Knows that this turn is the turn Iron could come down. Speak, citizen. Uh, you give away Debilitate? Because you don't want him getting more cards? And he just had six Magicka left over next turn? Or last turn? Then again, Fresh Start allows you to... Allows him to draw cards to then Debilitate? I think you made the correct... I think he made the correct choice there. I only need one shot. Then play out Barrow Stalker. Smell the stench of the living. Aiming to defend his ward. Hmm. That's 10 damage phase. This drains for one. Goes for the Ice Storm, heal two. Channeled Storm does four, so you just clear the uh, four two. It has been an engaging hunt. Please excuse Kashi. They're on the same team. Radical has the win. Broda knows it's it's over. I don't remember who won the previous match, so I can't say I know what the score is. Looking to see who we have still in game. Kuzia is versus Vlad, and we have not seen either of them yet. And we won't see them right now, because their match is over. Alright, let me refresh the bracket. Devil and Mag appear to still be at it. Broda and Radical are reporting their scores. Vlad and Kuzia are reporting their scores. So let's find Devil then. Which, by the way, if I remember correctly, he is a streamer. And a streamer that I've watched. You should watch him too. Oh, hey! It's turn 12 with an empty board. In a tribunal mirror. Joy. Already played two Laneths. And we're not conscriptioning. Get comfy, boys and girls! I'm yawning. 
just thinking about this game. Urist has even moved his head as far away as possible. I think that's his way of saying he, he's... He is wishing to distance himself from the gameplay we were about to see here. Okay, Devil is running a 100 card deck. I believe Solano likely had something to do with this. So if you're a 100 card deck, are you a 100? No, you've got two word crafters. You're not singleton. Ops to go for no play. He's got nine cards in hand. He can take one more. I am really curious as to why Tullius's conscription is not seeing play. Let's uh, spend this time to send a friend request over to Mag. There's the third, Lana. It's all right. Devil's got two cast at a time's waiting. Speak, citizen. So we're going to arrest that opposed Bruma. Wait, you need to one, two, three, four, six. Oh, you've got eight. Never mind. Is that worth our final cast, or maybe we edict that? Cast at a time over here, get rid of any more soul tears in the list. Doesn't hit soul tear, hits edict instead. I am a confused. I am so confused. Trade conscription. Trade conscription. Like you're running ordinator. You've got profiteers, barrow stalkers. It contests both lanes, and if he's got an ice storm, it makes him use it. There's a plan. There's a I smell the step of the living. Good morning, Earth Kitty. You jumping down? Me! Oh, it's feeding time. That's why. That's why we're jumping down. Contractually, I am legally obligated to give my co host a snack break at 5 o'clock. Go no <laughs> there, you baited out the wrath. Now play conscription. Will not save you. Tries to set up Nahag leave to get the value from that lane. You cannot hope to outrun destiny. Marak has other plans. Now can we conscript? Because you're not going to be able to cast or mummify that thing. Preparations have been made. Is 
the mag's now continuing to extend his value lead that he has over devil And he's confident enough he's starting to go face. Uh. Now? Eh? Eh? Like, Ice Storm doesn't help you. Mummified barely helps you, so... It's clear. It's time. It's been time. Been time for like five turns. I don't know why we're... <sighs> I really do not know his aversion to playing Tullius's Conscription. If somebody knows, enlighten me. Why would you not play conscription here? La, da, da, de, da. What is no, preventing you from playing conscription? You are literally dead. I smell the stench of the living. I haven't the faintest clue. Why that stayed in hand the entire time. It was needed to contest both lanes. And holding it in hand merely just led, well, directly led to his death. Okay. Let's see uh, who else we still have playing. I get, no, it's literally just these two remaining. So we'll wait and see if they go into another game. I'm tracing down that, uh... Alright, I found the tribunal code. It's, a, it's across two screenshots, but let me see if they're going into another game first. They're going into another game. Would have pulled Luzra, Ordinator, Wardcrafter, uh, a single Bruma, Ald Velothi. You know, there there was enough in there for him to conscript. I was thinking maybe it was an empty card, but he would have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a full eight cards out of it. Baffles, including a uh, shackle and three guards with a ward, health gain. But all right, we're on the monk now. And has the early combo with the Conjurer Spirit. There's a play. There's a whole lot of play. Keep them puppers coming. So Worldly is going to go ahead and pull the Elixir. I assume. I shouldn't make such wild assumptions these days. Let's knock some heads. There's only one copy of Elixir, but it gets you your puppers, so yeah, you pull it. We can help one another. Oh look, a javelin target. Then play Moongate. Tap Elixir. Yeah. 
It's a really good strong start and uh, there's not an ice storm to answer standard bearer. I mean, yes, you need the ice storm there, but standard bearer. It's going to be a problem. So you tap both of the well, play out standard bearer first. Ugh. I think he's getting tired. He's been up for a very long time. If I recall correctly, he's over in Russia. We even opted to hold the standard bearer. We're seeing genius beyond mere mortal comprehension. Perhaps we can help one another. Another jab target. So it looks like we're going to be using a Queen's Captain just for Magicka efficiency. That makes sense. Alright, that clears the 4-4. Four -four. So three, six, seven, eight, you hit him for what you've got. Maybe you draw first. Okay. Now you draw. I mean, Seducer's not a bad play, but you don't know if you're gonna draw something better. Discount of Queen's Captain's gonna be on destroy a creature next turn. We'll see this. Good bump. That's not a problem. And you've got... Just playing that there gives him lethal. Bump, bump. Knocks a two. No, it's only one breakthrough. He's got lethal here. Still is lethal here? Go get him, puppers. Bite that face off. Alright, Devil managing to get that one there. That's gonna push them to a round three. Come here, Farkas. He's sitting under the desk looking at me. And he's like, it's a trap. You gotta scoop the kitty. You gotta scoop me. You is. I ain't coming. I ain't gonna do it. They might be reporting their score, because we don't know if we hopped in on game three. In which case, Devil would have the win. As of yet, their score is not reported. So not in game, and I'm refreshing the other side. What was the score for you and Mag? Also, that puts him there at the top. And I'll either get to report the score and get us moving, or... Yeah, they're starting to report their score now. Okay. And it looks like Devil won round one, so they're go he's going to advance. Two wins, one loss. Round four being generated. And then we will take a look at where we stand. So there we go. That round is going. Standings as they exist. First place. Il Phoenix Anti Azura. Dornostrin in second. Kuzia third. Radical fourth. Mr. Death in fifth. Harvester sixth. Devil, Seth Dove, Broda, Rising. All these people with two wins are still in it. Felerin. These are the two we're going to be watching, though. Dornostran versus Phoenix. They should be matched up in a game today, so we'll take up... We saw Dornostran's decks earlier. He was running the Bane Lord, Daggerfall, and the Empire. So Phoenix has the Invade, and then two Goblin decks that are near identical. So I'll pull those up for us to take a look at. So the Assassin Goblins is Goblins, plus Harpy, Bolt, and Kano. And the uh, Scout Goblins is Goblins, plus Hound, Warchief. Otherwise, they are near identical lists. Kind of just tagging through to see if we could see the difference. Ah, there's one Scourge that is different. He loses a Scourge when he goes to Assassin. Otherwise, they are identical. 
in the green department. And the invade we saw before. So for the for the bail or for the um invade or uh, ban. There we go, for the ban. Let's pull back up Dornostrans. And I want to see what he's running for tech versus invade. This deck does poorly versus invade because it's not running hard removal, and I don't see execute. Bane Lord. Probably the one that stacks up best versus invade. And decent versus goblins because it's got the uh, AoE removal. Daggerfall doesn't have an answer to invade because it's a creature based control deck. Two of your decks don't have invade counters. You've got to ban the invade. So the invade is my ban there, and you just say, all right, I'm going to be playing two decks versus goblins. Then looking this way, which you're, if you're planning for your invade deck to get banned, or you just steamroll them with invade, I think the empire is the greatest threat to your goblins. Because it has the lowest curve, and the, what you're afraid of is somebody getting underneath your goblin lists. It's also got beefy minions, so your curses aren't likely to remove them. That said, Penitus is a dead draw, as you're not putting keywords on. But it does have some guards. Alternatively, Daggerfall has tons of wards, but your curses are going to have an overwhelming effect versus this. So I think your band is the Empire. Farkas, were you thinking about going up there? Would it been worth it? Would it have been worth it, kitty kitty? There's the whole thing just da -da 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 as he jumps up. Does it smell like a wrist? Alright, so those are my bans. I ban the Invade and I ban the Empire. If I was our respective opponents. Actual bans? Da 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 da! Still in progress. Farkas rates this tournament. Oh, is that two paws? I can only see one from here, but I see that at least one of the back ones is out. Is it a two or a three paw rating? I need to I need to check. That is a two paw rating. Revs. All right, so the bands are in. He banned the Daggerfall. I got the correct ban here. But the one that his curses would be most effective versus is the one that got banned. Well, we will see if that comes back to bite him or if it was a acceptable choice. And we go to view the games. Um, probably open Empire versus Goblins? No, opening with the Bane Lord versus Goblins and opening Scout Gobbos. I mean, if you're Phoenix, it's six one way, half dozen the other. Uh, keep dragging. Yeah, that's that's good. Little bit of lethal control. Going ahead and just reducing that to one health. What do we got in hand? Skirmisher, corner club, scourge. So he's already ringed it out, but now he's debating on which lane it's going to go in. That is the correct play, splitting lanes. Yep, Tiny Dragon needs to just clear this off, stop the curse generation. But now we're going to see a deck trying to play from behind. Fortune favor me. So go ahead and play out the Hist Mage, get the ramp. The Hist will rise. Fortune favor me. So you know he's got the curse. And it looks like he's just gonna leaf lurker it down. Push for nine. Picks up a Bane Lord, but he needs a sheer point on board for that to make a difference. Because otherwise, well, no, there's no curse yet. He trade this in, get the curse. Remove it, hit for eight. It's why I favor a uh, Bane Lord that doesn't run conscription and sticks much lower to the ground. Because otherwise you can run into this sort of scenario. 
and it's why I think the curses were, or a cursed Gabo deck was well suited to dealing with this form of Bane Lord. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, I mean, you set up a sheer point and you munch on Skirmisher. It's your only out. Uh, sheer point gets set up in. Sh um, I'd probably set it up in field. Bane Lord, I think, was a mistake. Because you needed a way to clear the lanes, and here you're just gonna trade into one creature. little awkward with the corner clubs because he can't discard two cards easily so we might just see a ring and a razum because that puts him to six and so even if he wipes the board you're then just a taz cat away Care to make a friendly and that's gonna be game to be fair, with Sheer Point, you would have been dead last turn. No, because only three more damage would have been done. And there wouldn't be room over here for him to play out both of those, so we'd probably see him play Razum then. To the face, Bane Lord wipes. He still has two Corner Club and a Dusk Eater in hand. Yeah, no, I think Sheer Point would have been the correct play two turns ago. Because I think the inability to do anything now is a direct result of that. I still think you lose because you're not able to play off the Tazcad. Alright, so he plays to a Prophecy out. You gotta respect that, but charge, charge, charge. Goblin Scout carrying round one. We will wait for them to hop into round two. So now, Dernostran is going to be switching back over to the Empire deck. It's the deck that I think he has that's best suited to deal with the goblins. So once they're able to get in game, I saw Phoenix had sent it, but it hadn't been accepted yet. Observing a casual match. Did Phoenix send the chart? Uh, send a request to the wrong person? I've done that before in tournaments. Being 100% transparent. Do, 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 all right, looks like there's some sort of bug going on for them. We will leave them to get that sorted. Let's see who else was up at the top of our standings. Kuzia, who is Kuzia versus? Oh, they came back online. We'll wait and see them. They're they're basically our semifinals match. So I feel bad if we don't watch the semifinals. Farkas. Farkas. It's a pretty good wall that he's staring at. Like, the best of walls. There's never been a wall as good at, as the wall he's staring at right now. Zoom out so we can see the feats. Maybe I bump it over that way? No, that's as far as the cat camera goes. We're going to need to fix that. There we go. I got a finger sniff and a gaze of longing are they in game now not quite yet they're still sorting their bug but they're now both online so hopefully the challenge is being sent there we go beautiful So what Dornostra needs to win is he needs to get a lot of his early play and he needs to get the ring to help. It's not a bad opener. 
Ring out traitor, ring out spirit. You can trust me. You can trust me. We're gonna see him curse to get the extra little bit of value there. An interesting choice. I still think we see the spirit come down. No, into Mammoth. Mulligan's the Shaman? Nope, goes for the uh, Witch. Drop Spirit over here. Trade through that. Well, trade through that first. Then drop Spirit. I mean, you've got Shift, so it really doesn't matter which way it goes. It just looked like he's going to go ahead and just push 4 damage face. We might see... I don't know, do we see a Shaman come down here? Into the Shadow Lane? Goes for board development. Drop Recruiter, Aspirant, both in this lane. Trade in, because you want to hit the buff on one of them if possible. We're shifting. Why are we shifting? You think you've got the win. But if he gets a Leaf Lurker, you immediately lose your Mammoth. Spoiler alert, he drew a Leaf Lurker. What are we looking at? 8, 12, 14 damage? So we're going to need to throw down a Emperor's Blade just to try to tank some of that. But he's still going to be dead because that tanks... Well, no, it's going to have to tank 6. But that leaves 12. So yeah, no, it's over. These feelings... Especially could three feather war chief trade past, and it's ten minutes late. But greetings, Madison. I think choosing to go over here ended up leading to his downfall. Had he been over here, he would have been in a much better position to trade and set up a board, which is what you need to do as Empire. Farkas, you getting down? Farkas, don't do it. Farkas. Farkas, what if I promised you a treat? What if I promised you a snick snack? Oh, that got your attention. Look at that face. Look at your face. No, get down, kitty. So that was a clean 2-0 push by Phoenix using goblins. I'll go ahead and report the score for them. Thump. Alright, so Kuzia is versus Devil. So we can hop in on Devil's side here and we'll get Kuzia while we're at it. Devil opening with his 100 card tribunal. We're 11 turns in, or 11 cards in. Kuzia with not the best control hand. Two ice storms and a negation. Commander coming down, getting all that sweet, sweet buff into the deck. Also, I swear if conscription gets top decked. There's, oh, there's no actions in the grave. Mighty Conjuring looking to be the play. Really nice board positioning there. I imagine we'll just see an Oda come down. I don't feel like there's another option here. 
Devil, let's not get started. Just play Oda Bang and we can both leave friends. Bone Weaver. What can we pull with Bone Weaver? Bolt. That allows us to clear Oda. Bolt appears to be the only pool we have. That's fine. He didn't consume Bolt. Kuzia. Kuzia, my friend. You're going to come down as a 4 5, so you're going to go down the shadow lane and just uh, trade into the exalt. Alright. Uh, well, you've got to execute. Alright. I can see the logic. I would not have played the... Um, I would not have played the negation there, but he does still have a way to deal with Dagger Call. Kuzia going ahead, conceding, seeing that there's not a whole lot there. And Devil taking it with 100 card tribunal. Congratulations. All right, into the next round. I'll look to see if they're reporting their score. Rising went 2 0 over Mr. Death. And we know Phoenix was the only scores coming in so far that weren't buys. Oh, Aquaman triumphed over Pasta. Ugh! No, no. Okay, better. What do we got here? Throws back Queen. I am sad I missed that schemer art. I'm a sad we have no cats now. So Kuzi is running a two conscription flesh atronach mentor's ring combo deck. So it's gonna be imperative. Do I not even get to see what they got? Okay, camels? Hey, 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 hey. It's gonna be imperative that Devil can maintain his health. I'm checking that list we looked at earlier to see if he is running a memory wraith. And it does not appear that he does. Keeps the conscription, pitches a Mentor's Ring. There's only two copy of Mentor's Ring in deck. So combo now requires him to find the second one. Preparations have been made. Nice try. Care to go again? Alright, Ordinator can start being dropped. Or do you just play the exemplar? Found the first Galen Camel, and there's yet another Galen Camel. Gotcha. I will Necromancer targets, there are none. Do you think you can aggro this down? Dropping a five plus each turn. Devil decides yes. The Night Mother will guide us. It's not a bad pickup. Allows him to cut through the guard. Power up channeled storm. Kill off the other. Use Felix Exemplar as the guard to kind of try to lock down over here. Then there's two Dawn's Wraths in hand and an Ice Storm. I smell the stench of the living. Watch yourself now. Cloudrest Kwama. Cloudrest prevent the damage. 
Bomber to lock down the lane. Hmm. Looks like he might be setting up for a uh, Dawn's Wrath over here. Going for an Ice Storm then. Kuzi is happy to see the deck get cleared. Kept the Scourge. Nine is cast Hive Defender. Opts to let him pull the Cruel Fire Bloom from his deck, though. He's looking at using fingers that, or pulls a schemer. That's not bad. You'll not be rid of me that easily. So soth the sill in hand, huh? Mute, mute to stop that guy from cycling. Stop the curse generation there. Dawn's wrath that lane away and trade. I'll try to draw their fire. Ops for the uh, cloud rest trade. The third Galen Camel has already shown up. Nothing too great, so I guess you grab Scout's Report. Give you another chance. I'll scout ahead. No! Ditched Queen Baron Zaya to keep an ice storm. Hmm. One turn off of so the Sill. Is there anything you can pull? Like, you're poking Necromancer out there. I don't think there's anything you can pull. And you just played a 6 cost 3 3. But I guess you gotta play something, so. Overdrew the Cruel Fire Bloom. Mistakes were made. Wipes his own cards for conscription. Hmm. Give on Glum guard? No, given the given the camel guard, makes sense. So Dawn's Wrath. Seducer. Well, I'll seducer over here so that you can Dawn's Wrath that lane. Next turn. But he's kind of telegraphing, well, in our case, bluffing, that he's got a mentor's ring by warding up the drain guard. There's eight damage in the field lane compared to nine damage in the shadow. He might be debating whether or not he wants to play so with the sill into one of the lanes. Alright, goes for the one extra damage block. They won't even see my blade coming. He has spider, old spooter. Ugh. To lock down the drain. Headless zombie can go pull um the mentor's ring that was ditched pre ditched previously. Yep. And force it out. So we're gonna see a Dawn's Wrath Bruma negation. There's a plan. There's always a plan. 
we know. What have we got? Just forget about C. Steal something from your opponent. Necro? Phalanx. Banish opponent's grave. So now it's time to Sotha finally. It's gonna get Brahmined, but it's time. So it puts down the guard that theoretically blocks those. Heals you for two. Knows about the arch cannon. All right, uh, you can arrest this, play you to give guard, but it's not going to be enough. So you can play you for guard, and then just play I out the other two of you. Tribunal will always come to the people's aid. Behold the tribunal's power. Give uh, Drain Guard to the perfect. Alright, best you could have hoped for. Shadowfen negates that. 9, 10, 11. Uh, can skip a rune with Mentor's Ring. Getting this up to 8. So hit for four, hit for eight. Game over. Kuzia takes the win. Wrong place, Midnight Stroll. Rise, my servant. Kuzia does not see it, because I don't think he has a Viper in the graveyard. Ah, likes this. Ah, sees a different way for getting lethal. Didn't see the rune skip, though. Prophecy Harpy, heals for one, not enough. And with that, they're gonna go one and one.